Welcome to the second match of the 2021 Haikyuu season. Today's match features students from Satsuma, Citronelle, and the home team, Mary G. Montgomery. The questions you're going to hear are prepared by educators throughout the country who are all experts in their fields. They try to make the questions equally challenging. Here's how the points are awarded. In a regular category, each team will receive its own question in that area. The team will then have 15 seconds and four opportunities to answer. A correct answer on the first try is worth four points. Each time an incorrect answer is given, it's worth one less point. And if a team misses it entirely, either of the other two teams can gain one point with a correct answer, and I'll explain some of the other scoring as we go on. So we'll start the uh, first half of the competition. As we always do, it's in current events. So first question goes to Mary G. Montgomery. Here it is. Which COVID-19 vaccine maker was the first to seek FDA authorization? You could just say it. Pfizer. Pfizer is correct. Four points. Very good. Thank you. Citronelle, this is your current events question. Give the verb that means to addictively thumb through the deluge of bad news shared on social media in 2020. And you can just say it, it's your question. Boom scroll. Yes, very good, four points for Citronelle. Satsuma, your question. And remember, during these parts, if it's your question, you can just shout it out because you have that 15 second time limit. This noun is a colloquial term for a white woman who uses her privilege often at the expense or well-being of a person of color. Karen. Karen is correct. Four points for everybody. Good. All right, let's move to American history now. Mary G, here's your question. And again, you don't have to write it down for your part of the question if it's yours. You can just say it. A conflict fought between Britain and the United States over issues of trade Though it ended in a draw, it showed America's willingness to defend its interests mil militarily. Name this conflict. Yes, very good. Four points. Citronelle, here's your question in American history. An alleged deal between presidential candidates John Quincy Adams and Henry Clay in which the House of Representatives would ultimately decide the election. This alleged deal ultimately became the rallying cry for Andrew Jackson's campaign. Name this alleged deal. Five seconds, just shout it out. Eh. All right, sorry. Okay, let's see the answer from Mary G. Corrupt bargain and Satsuma, what is your answer? Well, I can't see that. <laughs> it looks like a blank piece of paper. Yes, you are both correct. Corrupt bargain. Very good, so you both get points. Sets, or, uh, Satsuma, here's your question. In the 1850s, a political party emerged in response to an influx of immigrants the party, which was also known as the American Party, held nativist views, especially against Irish Catholics. Give the name of this political party. The Know Nothing Party? That's correct. Four points for Satsuma. Very good. Our topic is bi biology. Back to Mary G. Montgomery now. Prokaryotic cells may inherit small self-replicating loops of extra DNA that contain only a few complete genes. Identify these structures that may be transferred to other cells during the process of conjugation. Say it out loud. Time is up, time is up, pens down everybody. Let's go to uh, Citronelle first. What is, your, uh, what is your answer to this? Uh, ribosomes and Satsuma, what is your answer? Alleles, it is um, 
plasmids. Plasmids, everybody. Okay, Citronelle, here's your question. Name the group of non-cellular agents that specifically infect bacterial cells and are made of a protein covering wrapped around a nucleic acid core. Viruses? Try again. Viroids. Try again. No time is up. So, Harry G. Montgomery, if you could show me your answer, please. Phage, okay, and Satsuma. Bacteriophage is what I needed, not just phage, but bacteriophage. So you get a point. All right, Satsuma, here's your question. Name the organisms that have silica shells that are used in insulation, abrasives, and filters. Ciliates. Try again. Celia. Try again. Celia Zoans. Nope. Okay, time is up. So Mary G. Montgomery pens down and Citronelle as well. Mary G., what's your answer? Silicates and Citronelle, what is your answer? Did you have an answer? No. Okay. It was diatomes. Diatomes was the answer I needed. No points. All right. Time for our first sort of toss-up of the match, our virtual toss-up. It's a sports question worth four points, one answer per team, and it will go to all of you at once. So I'll read the question to you. You fill it out, and if you all get points, you all win. Okay. This team finished the 2019 season with a 12 and 4 record in the AFC. Their Super Bowl hopes ended with a 13 to 20 wild card game loss against the Tennessee Titans. Give me the name of this team. Write it down. We'll have 15 seconds at this point. And if you're all correct, you'll all get points. Don't show it until I ask for it. All right, time is up. Let's go to Mary Montgomery first. Colts. All right, let's see who is next. Citronelle, what is your answer? New England Patriots and Satsuma, your answer? Green Bay Packers, New England Patriots was the correct answer. New England Patriots, very good. Time for a regular question in literature. This one's directed at Mary G. Montgomery. In Catherine Mansfield's short story titled Prelude, give the last name of the couple that moved from the city to the country with their children, mother and sister. We'll say that again. No. All right, time's up. Pens down. Citronelle, you could show me your answer. Citronelle, no answer. Okay, how about Satsuma? Jones, no, it was Burnell. Citronelle, your question. In Stephen Crane's short story titled A Self-Made Man, tell the total amount of money the self-made man borrowed from his landlady one morning for tobacco. Five cents. Five cents is right. Very good. Four points. Satsuma now, your question. In Flannery O'Connor's short story titled The Life You Save May Be Your Own, name the one auto part Mr. Shiflet told Mrs. Crater he needed to buy and install in order to make her car run again. Uh, a belt? 
Uh, no. A um, an engine belt. No. Okay, time's up. Pens down. Let's see, Mary G. Montgomery. Carburetor and Citronelle. Heat belt. No, I needed specifically a fan belt. Not just one kind of belt, but a fan belt. No points. All right, time for math. All right, all the teams should have all of the math questions. Yes, I hope. All right, each team will have 60 seconds to answer its question. And if you can't come up with the correct answer in that minute's worth of time, we'll then go to the other teams as well. So right now, everyone, this question goes to Mary G. Montgomery. Everybody open your yellow math envelopes, please. Yellow math envelopes. What is the measure in degrees of an exterior angle of a regular decagon? Again, this is just Mary B. Mary G, I should say. Say that one more time. No, try again. One forty four. Try again. One sixty two. Sorry. All right, teams, let's see. Citronelle, if you could show show us your answer, please. Citronelle. 324. Satsuma, what is your answer? 144. The answer was 36 degrees. 36 degrees. All right. Next math question goes to Citronelle. Everyone open your red or salmon-colored envelopes. Here's the question. A Pythagorean triplet is a group of three integers that fit the Pythagorean theorem, such as three, four, five. If two numbers in a Pythagorean triplet are seven and 25, what is the third number? Fifteen seconds left, Citronelle. Nine. Try again. Eleven. Try again. Twelve. Try again. Fifteen. Nope. All right. Pens down, everybody. Mary G. Montgomery, what's your answer to this question? This geometry question. Uh, 27, and Satsuma, what is your answer? 26, the answer was 24. 24 was the answer. All right, Satsuma, this is your question. Everyone open your blue math envelopes, please. Blue math envelopes. An angle is inscribed in a circle in such a way that its sides intersect the circle and divide it into two arcs such as such that the major arc is twice the measure of the minor arc. 
What is the measure of the angle in degrees? Again, this is Satsuma's question. One twenty degrees. That's correct. Four points. Very good. Very good. All right, back to a regular category now. It's Shakespeare, and back to uh, Mary G. Montgomery. In Act Two of Love's Labor's Lost, the initial discussion between Ferdinand and the princess reveals that a part of France was pledged to Navarre in order to secure a large loan. Identify that portion of France. What was it? No. No. Time's up. Citronelle, Satsuma pens down. Citronelle, what is your answer to this? Aquitaine and Satsuma, your answer is Normandy. Aquitaine is the correct answer. Aquitaine, so points for Citronelle. All right, Citronelle, here's your Shakespeare question. In act two of the Comedy of Errors, one character complains that only a stubborn beast of burden would tolerate having its free will bridled so severely as this character's free will is restricted. Name this character. Luciana. Try again. No oh, time's up, pens down, everybody. Mary G, what is your answer? Fernando and Satsuma. Armando, it was Adriana. Adriana was the correct answer. Satsuma, your question in Shakespeare. Act two of Romeo and Juliet begins with a disclosure that a prediction made in act one has come true. Rosalind has become old desire once Romeo has had the opportunity to compare her to tender Juliet. Identify the speaker of this opening observation of act two. Benvolio. Try again. Mercutio. Try again. Romeo. Try again. Friar Lawrence. Nope, time is up. Nope, time is up. Okay, Citronelle and Mary Montgomery. Mary Montgomery, please show your answer. No answer, okay, Citronelle. No answer, it was chorus. Chorus was the correct answer there. Geography is our topic, everybody. Mary G, this is your question. Two islands that make up a Caribbean nation lie less than 50 miles off the northeastern coast of Venezuela. Give the name of this island nation. That's correct. Trinidad and Tobago. Four points for MGM. So Trinidad now. An estuary is formed at the confluence of several rivers in southeastern South America. Give the name of this estuary that lies between Argentina and Uruguay and flows into the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, the Pampas? Try again. Hey, time's up, time's up. Okay, everybody uh, pens down. Mary Montgomery, what's your answer? Okay, how about Satsuma? Uruguay River, no, it was the Rio de la Plata. No answer. Satsuma, here you go. The landlocked country of Bolivia has two capitals, one of which is for the legislative and executive branches of government. It is found near the Western border with Peru. Give the name of this capital city. La Paz. La Paz is correct. 
four points for Satsuma. Very good. All right, we're at intermission time. So you can all take a very short break. You can switch out team members if you like, and then we'll resume for the second half. New Horizons Credit Union is a proud supporter of local nonprofits and education, including sponsoring the annual New Horizons Credit Union Scholarship. Visit newhcu.org to learn more about New Horizons Credit Union. Hello, my name is Abby Dinkins. My children go to E.R. Dixon Elementary School. The education that uh, my kids are getting, um, they are, it's, it's tremendous. There's one time that I thought about homeschooling my kids because I wasn't sure, you know, we're new here. And when I enroll my children at the public school and I'm just blown away because the teachers are nice, the, the curriculum itself is different. I believe in Mobile County public school education um, for preparing my children for life. All right, let's start with some chemistry questions, everybody. Mary G. Montgomery, here's your question. State the hybridization of the carbon-carbon bonding orbitals in diamond. All right, teams pens down. Citronelle, what's your answer there? Citronelle? Okay, I'll take that as a no answer. Satsuma. Crystalline. No, I was looking for SP3. SP3. Citronelle, your question in chemistry. State the term given to a reactant that is transformed in an enzymatical catalyzed reaction. Right. Um, what did you say? Oh, uh, charged. Try again. Ionic. Nope. All right. Okay, let's see, MGM and Satsuma pens down, please. MGM, what's your answer? <laughs> Substrate, okay, Satsuma, what is your answer? Catalytic, substrate is correct. So Mary Montgomery, you've got the point. All right, Satsuma, here's the question. State the common name of the compound known as acetosilic acid. Vinegar? Try again. All right, pens down, please. Let's go to MGM. Vitamin C and citronelle. Aspirin is correct. Aspirin is the right answer, so citronelle gets that one. Art history. First to MGM now. This massive royal palace in France is the key expression of 17th century absolutism. It was adopted as a model by other monarchs throughout continental Europe until the end of the 18th century. Give the name of this palace that was built around the nucleus of a hunting lodge and eventually became more of a king's city than Paris itself. Par yes, the Palace of Versailles. That is correct. Citronelle. This still life by Abraham Bayerin, titled Fish, can be seen in Dunkirk at the Museum of Beaux-Arts. The fish are seen lying still on a wooden table or cutting board. The picture is painted in oil on a wood panel. Tell the number of fish in this painting. Great. Try again. 
One. Try again. Five. Try again. Twelve. Nope. We have five seconds left. So use that time to write down your answer. Okay, Mary G. Montgomery, what is your answer to this? Three. Satsuma. Two is the correct answer. Yes, two fish. Two. All right. Satsuma. Here's your question. This versatile British architect was inspired by the buildings of Andrea Palladio. He was the foremost exponent of late Renaissance classicism in England. His most successful projects included country houses, the Queen's House at Greenwich, and Wilton House. Give the last name of this architect. Bernini. Try again. Nope. All pens down, everybody. Mary G, what's your answer? Right. That's not right, actually. Citronelle? Gregory, no, it was Jones. Plain old Jones. No points. All right, team choice. This is where you chose the topic you wanted to be quizzed on before the match began. So... Mary G. Montgomery, you get one answer. So don't write it down. Just call it out when you decide that this is what. And then everybody else will have a get two points for a correct answer. So Mary G. Montgomery, you chose geography. Here's your question. The capital of Ecuador is found in the northern region of the country, equidistant from the Pacific Ocean and the Colombian border. Give the name of this capital city. One answer. Quito is right. Very good. Four points. Next, Citronelle. You chose American history. Here's your question. One answer. Following the American Revolution, there was an ideal of family organization and female behavior that stressed the role of women in guiding family members toward governmental virtue. Give the name of this idea that's centered on women. The strong woman idea? Adio. No, sorry. Um, Satsuma or Mary G, write down your answer. And you have three seconds to... All right, Mary G Montgomery, what was your answer here? Matriarch, no. Satsuma, Republican motherhood is exactly correct. So Satsuma gets that, two points. All right, Satsuma, you chose literature. So here's your question, one answer. In Flannery O'Connor's short story titled The Crop, give the total number of years the character named Garner ate cream of wheat with agar agar on top for breakfast. Say that again, please. 50. That's correct. Four points. 50 is right. Very good. All right. Next one would be our toss up, but instead I would ask all three teams to write down your answer. And then if you're all right, I'll get the points. So here's the question in Shakespeare. If you could reset the clock to 15 seconds. Thank you. In act two of the second part of King Henry IV, Falstaff resists an arrest by Fang and Snare. He calls on his page and one other companion to assist him in escaping. Name that companion. So everybody write it down. And at the end, I'll ask all of you to display your answers. All right, Mary Montgomery, what was your answer? Pens down, everybody. Is queen, All right? Uh, Citronelle, what was your answer? Groom, Satsuma, your answer. 
Mistress Quickly, it was Bardolf. Bardolf was the one answer I was looking for. New points on the toss up. Regular category is physics to Mary Montgomery. State the name of the derived unit for frequency that is equivalent to one cycle or oscillation per second. Hertz is right. Very good, four points. Citronelle. Give the name of the point in space through which all rays near and parallel to the principal axis of a convex lens refract. The focus. Try again. Okay, time, pens down. Mary G, what was your answer here? Refracting point and Satsuma. Apex, I was looking for focal point. Focal point. All right, Satsuma, your question. State the name of the celestial object that appears at one of the foci of elliptical planetary orbits according to Kepler's three laws of planetary motion. Star. Try again. All right, time. Mary G, what is your answer? Sun, Citronelle, what is your answer? Satellite sun is the correct answer. So Mary G gets that one. Very good. Topic is American government now. Back to Mary G. In order to establish a colony in the new world, each colony had to secure from the king a written grant of authority. Give the name by which this grant was known. I couldn't hear you. Charter, yes, four points. Very good. Citronelle. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln defined democracy as, quote, government of the people, by the people, and for the people, unquote. Give the city where Lincoln spoke these words. Gettysburg. That's correct, Gettysburg. Satsuma, in 1774, the English passed the Intolerable Acts, which were designed to punish the colonists in Boston. The colonies responded to these acts by calling for a meeting of delegates in Philadelphia. Give the exact term by which this meeting is known. Continental Congress. Try again. Philadelphia Convention. Try again. All right, uh, pens down everybody. Mary G, what is your answer? First Constitutional Congress and Citronelle, what's your answer? Did you have an answer? Here you go. Continental Conve Convention, no, it was the first Continental Congress. I needed first in there, the first Continental Congress. World history to Mary G. The Sahara Desert in Africa is constantly expanding southward. In the process, it encroaches on a region, the name of which means coastline because of its proximity to the huge ocean of sand. Give the name of this region bordering the Sahara Desert on the south. Sahel. That's right. Very good. Four points. All right, Citronelle, your question. Greek city-states had various forms of government. One of these involved rule by a small number of rich land-owning families. 
Give the term for this form of government. Oligarchy. Try again. Autocracy. What was that again? Autocracy. No. Okay, buzzer, pens down. Mary G, what's your answer? Autocratic oligarch and Satsuma. Aristocracy is the correct answer. So Satsuma is correct there. Aristocracy, very good. All right, Satsuma. Near the end of the second century BC, two brothers who served as tribunes in Rome proposed reforms that would limit the size of landed estates and distribute land to the poor. Both brothers were eventually assassinated. Give the last name of these reforming tribunes. Gracchus. Rass, very good. Tiberius and Gaius, very good. We are down to the last answer. It would normally be a toss-up math question, but instead, since we can't do that, we'll ask all of you to write down your answers. And when I say time, we'll show the answers. So everybody open your white math envelopes now. Okay. A school has 1,200 students. If each student takes six classes per day, each teacher teaches six classes per day, and each class contains 25 students, how many teachers must the school hire to cover its classes? Again, just write down your answer. Don't call it out. Teams have about 35 seconds left to write down your answer. Ten seconds left. All right, time. Mary G. Montgomery, what was your answer? 48. All right, Citronelle, what was your answer? 48. Satsuma, your answer? 29. 48 is the right answer. 48 is the right answer. Today's final, Citronelle 22, Satsuma 30, and today's winner, Mary G. Montgomery with 39 points. Congratulations to all the teams on a great match.